Welcome, I'm Mike, with this month's Catholic T-Shirt Club unboxing video. So, let's get to it. Trusty Knaif and the Immortal Words. Preach the Gospel at all times. Use shirts when necessary. And of course, they become more and more necessary as we, especially those of us in the Midwest, enter these cold winter months. So let's see what the latest goodness is. dun da da, -da. Oh, oh yes. November 2020. You know, gotta reduce the glare. Modern day sainthood. Uh, we've got newly blessed Carlo Acutis. Venerable, though he should be blessed by now. Grumble, grumble. Fulton Sheen. Ah, many others. Lovely. We hear it starting in grade school. What do you want to be when you grow up? We spend our lives yearning for each next step that will lead us to the goals we have set. Yeah, financial goals, career goals, educational goals. God has given us a yearning spirit in order that we may continually thrive to become who He created us to be. And my friends, He created each and every one of us to be a saint. Because a saint merely means someone who lives with Him in heaven. So, ha <laughs> ha. A glorious red rosary. Red rosary, red rosary. Ah. Uh, <laughs> with St. Michael the Archangel, the Divine Mercy, St. Joseph, St. Francis of Assisi, the Virgin de Guadalupe, St. Jude. Ah. Uh, glorious. Because when we pray the rosary, we aren't praying alone. As he just passed, All Saints Day reminds us, there's a number beyond counting, a multitude from every nation, tongue, people, all washed clean by the blood of the Lamb. And when we pray the rosary, they all pray with us. Fantastic. I am going to pray about which of my friends I should give that one to. Ah, a glorious All Saints bracelet so that our brothers and sisters can go with us through our travels. And, as I never, ever, ever grow tired of saying, it is the Catholic T-shirt club, not the Catholic swag club. So now for this month's reveal, on the theme of modern day sainthood, <laughs> box doll, sainthood or nothing. Because really, that's what it is. That's the goal. We either become saints or we become unpersons. You'll notice that the demons that our Lord, our blessed Savior, interacts with in his earthly ministry, they almost always refer to themselves in the third person. They talk about we. A saint is someone who magnifies the glory of the Lord, as our mother sang in her Magnificat. As St. Irenaeus said, the glory of God is man fully alive. Most people you know, eh, they're only kind of alive. Because when we sin, we're choosing death. The saint is a person who has achieved what they are meant for. Perfect union with God. Whereas the demon, the devil, the person who has rejected the author of life, they become less and less a person until eventually they're nothing. Sainthood or nothing. With, boom, Revelation 14.12, the appropriate citation. We here at the Published Plot have urged our fellow Catholics to read our Bibles, to read our danged Bibles more and more often. And it's true, most of us still need to grow in Bible literacy. But if you've been to Mass, if you pay the slightest bit of attention, you know more scripture than you think you do. 
you may not be able to cite chapter and verse. But so many of the things we say in Mass are drawn directly from the sacred scriptures. If we were more biblically literate, we'd know that. So, my friends, all through the month of November, we pray for the holy souls in purgatory. Those who have not yet achieved sainthood, but are definitively on the road, because every person in purgatory is promised heaven. We can speed along their journey through our prayers, and once they have achieved their goal, their destiny, sainthood, we have gained a powerful friend in heaven. So, every day, this is the choice we face. Sainthood or nothing. Please, don't choose to be nothing. Choose to be the saint God has created you to be. Far be it from us to tell you how to spend your money, especially with Christmas approaching and all those presents that need buying. But you can spend your money on a online streaming service that probably produces content that will help you become nothing, certainly won't help you to become a saint. Or you can support a literal mom and pop operation with a huge number of adorable kids in the Catholic t-shirt club. You don't have to subscribe, but if you do, you get an awesome box every month. So, please, choose sainthood. Don't choose to be nothing. And give this episode a like, subscribe to our channel, ring the church bell to be notified the next time one of these brilliant plots is uploaded. Comment below with your favorite modern-day saint. Let's say... A saint who died in the last century. So anyone who died after 1920 through now. I know, I know, that's excluding some great ones like St. Pius X. But there are some really good modern day saints. Now, or to make it even more difficult, no, no, pick, comment below with a saint who died in your lifetime. So depending on how old you are, someone who died in the last 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Or for some of our viewers, you know, the last 80. But, you know, good on you. And until next time, remember to live your faith, love your faith, share that love. <laughs>